What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe After Effects CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D rotating logo out of a PNG file. So I've dragged a PNG logo into my project media bin and the first thing we want to do is create a new composition. Let's go to composition, new composition and I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080 just because that's the YouTube and default HD size. And just to keep it real simple, I'm going to choose a background color right here in the composition menu. I'll choose the Nike Team Orange to keep it true. And in the 3D renderer section, you want to make sure you're working in the Cinema 4D renderer mode. Now we'll press OK and it'll create our new composition that we can begin working on. So let's take that PNG logo and drag it onto this new composition that we've created. And you should see it appear as a new layer for us to begin working with in the composition. Now we have to trace and create a shape out of this. So with the layer highlighted, let's go to layer and select auto trace. This is going to allow us to create a path based automatically on the shape of this. And since it's already a transparent PNG, you can just keep it on alpha channel and it'll just select the entire contents of this. You can also check apply to new layer so that we get the path on its own layer. And if you had it on perhaps a white or black background and there was some contrast there, you could choose to extract it from different channels like luminance, which is basically brightness. That'll work for a black and white logo. But staying real simple for this example, I'll just use the alpha channel like you will be able to as well if you're on a transparent PNG and press OK and you should see it pop up on a new layer with our path now. But we still need to turn this path into a shape layer. So let's drop down that new path layer that we created, drop down the masks option, and we should see that we have a mask path available for us to work with. So I'm going to right click on this mask one area, press new and select shape layer. That'll create a new shape layer, which is the type of layer that we'll be able to extrude and make 3D. But we need to get this path onto the shape layer. So let's drop down this menu and under the contents, we should be able to add a path. So now that we have the path added, let's go back to that mask path that we created on the second layer. Press Command C to just copy that path into our clipboard. Go back to the shape layer. Let's drop down that path menu and highlight this path next to that stopwatch icon. Now let's grab our pen tool from the top and just click anywhere, make a point and then immediately press Command V and that'll actually paste the path that we had copied onto our clipboard onto this new shape layer in a shape format. Great, so now we don't need either of the first two layers. We've successfully turned our PNG into a shape. And from here, we have the contents to transform the shape. So we can make it as big as we want since it's a vector now, it won't lose quality like the PNG would. We can go back into the contents under that shape. And for the fill, we can change it to a different color if we want. So instead of white, I could choose a different color like red or blue but I'm going to keep it at white actually for this simple example. And you basically have all these options for adjusting the color or path or opacity, but leave it all as is. Now that we've created it as a blank shape layer, like we originally wanted out of the PNG, I'm going to right click on this shape layer and select 3d layer. This will add the geometry and material options onto this since it's now a 3d layer and under the geometry options, we can choose to extrude it. This is the key that we've been working towards this whole time is being able to add extrusion depth. So since we're kind of looking at it front on, you can't really tell what's going on. But if I go open up the transform menu and adjust the Y rotation, you can see that we've created some depth of field. However, it still doesn't really have any lighting and you can't really tell what happened to the original logo. So I'm going to right click and reset that for now. I'll minimize that for a second so we can see what's going on and I'll go to layer new light. This is going to create a new spotlight by default. I'll just leave all these settings as is a white spotlight cone that cast shadows and press OK. Now we've got our spotlight that's creating shadows onto that 3D layer and we can see some texture going on. So in order to animate this to rotate, let's just go to the beginning of our composition, open up that shape layers properties and under the Y rotation, I'll click that stopwatch icon to toggle animation. I'll move over, let's say 10 seconds and I'll make it go through five rotations. So now if I press play, 
it might take a little bit to buffer. It'll go slow. You can see this green bar shows how much progress has loaded. And if you click on the screen at any time, you can see a little bit of a preview of that image. So from here, you can just play around with the extrusion depth. You can even play around with the angle of the spotlight. But keeping it very simple, that's how you can extrude a simple one color PNG into a rotating 3D logo animation in Adobe After Effects. In the next video, I'm gonna go over a bit more advanced example of how to maintain some of the original colors from the logo, create lighting on the backdrop, and add cameras in After Effects to adjust the angle and the scene. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like below, subscribe to my channel, and go follow me on social media at Justin OD Show, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, to stay up to date with me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.